I know you watch the Bob Newhart show because it's one of the hottest new shows that CBS has had to come down the line in a long time. And how fortunate for this young lady to, who plays the maid on the Bob Newhart show to have joined the cast. Julia Duffy, what a stroke of luck yes, for you. Yes, I think so. I think I'm very lucky. How did it come to pass? Well, I did a guest shot last year playing mm -hmm. Stephanie, playing Leslie's cousin. And uh, it was a wonderful experience, and I loved it, and I loved working with Bob. But it, it was simply a guest shot and nothing more because I had a series in the can, which then aired, Wizards and Warriors, mm -hmm. and it went off the air. Oh. And uh, <laughs> I was very upset. But meanwhile, the producers had watched the series, and uh, they offered me a running role as the girl that I played in the guest shot. But you know, as a maid, I never see you doing any maidly kind of duties like, do you do windows? Oh, I don't think Stephanie's gotten to that yet. I think <laughs> Stephanie is still trying to understand dust. It's all beyond her. <laughs> George, can you get that? George, I can't come down now, and it might be Dick and Joanna. Could you get it, please? George, where are you? <laughs> Since, since you're working with a real pro, with Bob Newhart, does he have a lot of input in the show? I mean, if he doesn't like something, does he change it? Is he able to just say, hey, let's do it this way? We all have input, oh, yeah. and we all say when we don't like something, and we're all very vocal about our characters and about comedy bits. We ask each other's advice if we think something isn't working or something might work better, and then we approach the producers, and we always support each other on these mm -hmm. things. The comedy timing that he has, are you learning? Are you picking up some things, Julia, from oh, him that yes, are invaluable? Oh, yes, absolutely. I don't think I could ever stop learning. Because he has something that's so, uh, I don't even know the word for it, it's so precise and it's so enduring and there's such a purity to it. So you can watch it for years, as we all have been, and still laugh. Did you see her in the blue and the gray? She was the person, lovely young thing, married to Stacy Keach, who is an extraordinary actor, extraordinary You've actor. You've interviewed him today? Already? Yes, yeah. and again, once again, I was in awe. And that's what I wanted to ask you, joining a cast with a Stacy Keach, with a Gregory Peck. Here's a little girl from Minneapolis, Minnesota. <laughs> w were you in awe at that point? Uh, well, I'm trying to remember how I felt. Uh, it was very exciting to be a part of a project that was that... Uh, sort of big and important and mm -hmm. artistic, you know, by TV standards. And everyone was very excited about it, and there were so few women in it, and I felt uh, very happy to be a part of it. I was a little in awe of the fact that I was playing a leading lady to uh, Stacy because I had been playing so many ingenues, yeah. <laughs> and it was a, more of a grown-up role. And I, I haven't played that many sort of romantic leading ladies, and it was very different for me. Well, you're so, you're so almost fragile. She only weighs 98 pounds and <laughs> just five feet tall, so almost But I'm not delicate. a bit fragile. <laughs> Aren't you, are you tough? <laughs> yeah, I'm not very fragile at all. <laughs> now, f physically you're talking about or no. emotionally? Emotionally, or I'm not at all a fragile person. Good. They, ma they make you strong up there in Minnesota. Oh, yeah. She, she's done regional theater, the Old Log Theater in Minneapolis. And mm -hmm. were you ever able to take part in the Guthrie's activities? Oh, no, no. When no? I, when I worked in Minneapolis, everybody who worked at the Guthrie was Canadian. That's changed, luckily, but uh, there really wasn't such a thing as local people playing parts in those days. Really? No, really, yeah. But it's not like that anymore. I don't yeah. mean to badmouth it, but it was for a while. Well, I know you did Romeo and Juliet, mm -hmm. and I think of you as a young girl like that. You know, it was really odd, because I went to the University of Minnesota in Duluth, and we had a production of Romeo and Juliet, and the girl who did Juliet was magnificent, just magnificent. And I went backstage to talk with her afterwards about it, and she really had no idea of what she was doing. She didn't really understand the lines, and yet she was perfect in the role. And I thought, isn't that interesting that just by the virtue of the way she was, without really giving it a great deal of thought, she did a good Juliet, without really well, understanding. I, that's, uh, that's the thinking behind a lot of film casting, 
not usually on stage yeah. where you need more technique, but film is so close up and visual that often they cast people who just are the part. I don't know how those people get through a whole career. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I think you need more technique than just playing yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, what's going to happen to the role of the maid down the road? Do you have any idea? Oh, I don't really know what will be happening to her next year. There's so much that could happen to her. There's a lot of room for growth with that character, and she could go in a lot of directions because she's kind of a, an innocent right now in, in life. Well, with Bob Newhart and Mary Fran and yourself and the crazy liar who lives across <laughs> yeah. the way, Camp, Campman, Steve Campman? Yeah. <laughs> what a nice cast. Congratulations on your fortuitousness, sir. Thank you. Julia Duffy is her name, and it's the Bob Newhart Show right here on 1011 Strong. Stay tuned. 1011 Morning continues.